What's up, YouTubers? Welcome to an up, another episode of Beef 92. In my last video, or at least part of it, I showed you how the taillights ain't working on my truck. Well, right now, we're attempting to put the brake switch in, which is this little part right here. As you can see, there's your plug. And then right there is a little button that your pedal rides into. This came off of a truck I had sitting in this came off of an S10 cab I had sitting in the yard for parts, which not long ago my viewers watched me cut the top out of that S10 for bobtail. Well, I realized, well, about that's about when this uh, taillights ordeal started. Pushing the brakes and then the taillights never go out and the four way is not working either. So, we got to take off this panel here and this panel just to put this in for a quick 30 seconds if it's that. So, ain't getting done sitting around, so might as well tackle it. All right, I got my little speed, my little palm ratchet, I call it. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to remove this for your check engine uh, scanners for your code scanners. There's a bolt here and a bolt here. You'd have to really dive into it to see exactly where each bolt's going. I already pulled this bolt because it dawned on me I told you guys that we're going to make a video on this. So now's as good as time as any. So I guess I'm going to call this little series S10 DIY Repairs. Because I don't like mechanics touching my truck. Never have, more than likely never will. So I just do all the work myself. Okay, now we got to work on pulling this bolt here. And this one, all the bolts to this panel, as you can see, here, and here, and that, oh, yeah, here and here, and that should be it. Then, this panel here, and this panel are two different pieces, so don't worry about pulling that, if you ever go to do these repairs. If I can get the camera to sit still long enough. Alright, now I'm going to take this bolt out. And this is right under the e-brake at under all places to put this bolt. that one then we're moving on to the next one I love these little ratchets they're hand they're about the handiest tool I've ever bought even though all they're good for is snug in and pulling small stuff like this but believe me it's nicer than what it really looks to be <laughs> yeah I'm trying not to set the light in your all's way So I think I'm going to start doing a DIY mechanical. Because I still work on vehicles every now and again. Just because it's something I like to do. Yep, this panel's fixed to pop.
And as far as this, your uh, code reader, so all you gotta do is do a little twist and pull it out. And then, there it is. Part one. Starting the passenger seat for now. What we're, oh, well daggone, I don't have to. Well folks, if you look here, this is the brake switch. Gotta get the clip and the wire which we can worry about the wire when we get it out. So, I'm gonna need two hands on this so I hope you can see it. Actually, yeah, you can. Get our trusty Winchester. Then just pry the one side up of the clip. It's not one to go. It's all right. I got a screwdriver for this kind of occasion. Be right back. Oh, well dang, it was right beside me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Now, we're gonna get right back to that piece. There we go. Oh, just having a little bit of trouble with it. Yeah, that clip don't really want to come out, but do this repair, it's kind of going to have to. There we go. And, all right, then you turn. Uh, let's see if I can find you first. up in here, now that I got it loose, then just turn the part down to you a little bit, and should pop, but it's not wanting to. I can only go so far with it. There we go. Oh, well, bang. Just popped right back in, but we'll fix that. Oh, almost. There you go. And pull that little clip out. Pull the faulty part out. There 
There you go. Wish I had better ways to record this, but this is about all I got. Pop that sensor, voila. Then you grab your other unit. Pop the sensor back in. Put your part on. Cause you gotta, cause you got a piece that you got to get in between here. Cause you got to get this right here onto this rod, but this has to sit in between. There we go. Then get your little snap clip. Snap it in. And hope everything works out. So, now we're gonna stick the battery cable on just enough to get power and see if we're still dealing with the same issues. You got power. And so far, no brake lights. But we ain't give turn the key on just yet. Still no lights. All right, cool. Let's see if we got. Yeah. All right, I didn't have four ways before, and looky there. Now I got them. Now let's try brakes. Up. Oh. Brakes are still on. So, apparently I'm gonna have to think of something else. So, that was one repair and still failed. Lights are still on. So maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But I'll get into it, so. Please like, share, and subscribe, and beave out.